Last, so they found me there naked with all my clothes, you know, smoking and everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so this thing here is, uh, I think I, I saw you in a new movie, right? It was, uh, it was this track here. And, uh, so these are magnets, and uh, let's see what we take here. Moving So this is a piece of superconductor. This is YBCO, atrium barium copper oxide. They make it over here. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, they make it. They grow. Actually, this is a pellet of polycrystalline stuff, but they make the best YBCO in the world. <laughs> uh, and uh, well, they set it a lower place because it's so good. So now this is a pellet, which is you know, the bare crystals are a tiny thing, but this one is big because uh, it's polycrystalline and it's good for this kind of stuff. So now you can uh, so cool it down. So below 77 Kelvin or this this thing goes superconducting. Below 93 Kelvin it goes superconducting. Now you have magnets here. What you do, you put it on, and this thing repels magnetic field or, or push it aside because uh, as soon as you get it close to magnetic field, currents will generate and shield it. So it's basically floating. Now these magnets are designed so that the poles are opposite. So two are going this way, and the other one is going that way. If you take it and you press it on, it stays on because you're trapping some sound magnetic flux, and, uh, and you hold it in the position. And then it also holds it balanced. So now it stays up. So now I can also push it. The problem is that we go until it gets warm, and then fall down. So then you can do a little board here. The thing is that when, when it's, uh, you know, what you have to realize is when it's uh, trapped, it's really trapped. You know, it takes me also force to put it away. So for instance, I guess here there are some magnets. These magnets go on the other ones, it's horrible, and then I can break them. Uh, <laughs> so the, the, I, I pressed it in, so I, by pressing it in, I'm, I'm forcing some magnetic flux into that thing, and then the superconductor poses any change of field at that point and just stays there. Right? <laughs> of course, you can, uh, you know, you can have that. Stuff. And so the other thing which is nice is to do the same with copper because you see, well now, see how it blends smoothly? Makes no noise, right? There's a big difference between copper and, uh, and that's because copper is a conductor, so you, you move a field, electrons are spinning, generate a current and, sh and shield it and compensates it. But of course these currents are, are scattering, so they don't run indefinitely, as in that case. So, it still falls, but it falls gently. If you cool this guy down, it even falls more gently. So it's quite spectacular. Now, on this guy, it doesn't fall at all. It just stays there, right? So, I can just take it. Should we get close to... How do I... I have to have a way to trap this thing in so... Well, let's do it without the... Let me first put these magnets away because... Okay, so then you can take it. Let's go a little down a bit more. I'm just afraid that if I make it spin and go, and they go on the floor, I really don't want that. The thing can go quite a... Whoa. 
Okay, but that's the idea. <laughs> I think we should go before we are too late.